three cabinet secretaries accompanying President Uhuru Kenyatta in Namibia suffered embarrassing moments as the head of state publicly dressed them down, even questioning their seriousness in addressing issues raised by Kenyans living in the diaspora. Cabinet secretaries Monica Juma, Peter Muni and Mwangi Kyunjuri had their faces bowed in shame as a visibly agitated Uhuru scolded them. But just what is it with the president? Francis Gashuri tells us more. President Uhuru Kenyatta spent part of his three-day tour of Namibia with Kenyans working and living there. <laughs> Accompanied by a delegation that includes cabinet secretaries, Kenyatta had an evening session with Kenyan citizens in Namibia, listening and responding to their questions. But the cabinet secretaries accompanying him had a not-so-interesting time, Kenyatta reprimanding them one after the other, apparently for failing to treat issues raised with the deserved seriousness. Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Mwangi Kyunjuri yet again on the receiving end. I'm looking now, my brother Kyunjuri has just opened his notepad to write what I'm saying. <laughs> but he was not interested in writing what these Kenyans are saying. Maybe it has nothing to do with agriculture. But he forgets he is a minister of the Republic of Kenya. And whatever that is said, he should be interested to know. What is it that these people are telling us? Peter Munya, who heads the Trade and Industrialization Docket, not spared. And so was the President's private secretary, Jomo Gishaga. The same applies to you, Wadamunya, to Nagariatu. That's your heart, Mwazikwango. I have a long serving PA here. <laughs> Kenyans in Namibia, just like their colleague citizens in other countries, had complained of delays in issuance of Kenyan passports and other vital identification documents due to government bureaucracy. It is time we started addressing ourselves to the realities. Monica, I will not say this again. We have agreed that we shall start country by country registering our citizens in the diaspora. We heard it in France. We heard it in Dubai. Why should these people be made to pay money to fly to Kenya just to get a passport in order to get back to work? Yes. yes. By October last year, Central Bank of Kenya statistics indicated that Kenyans in diaspora sent back home over 267 billion shillings, making them a key contributor to the country's economy. Kenyatta insisting they ought to be accorded better treatment by the state. What is difficult about having a team to organize that? Yes. <laughs> Right? Okay. <laughs> Why everywhere we go, it's the same issue, it's the same question. Why can't we just put it in place? Monica, can we agree that I will never hear that again in another diaspora meeting? Namna hiyo, na mimi sitaki kusikia by scolding his cabinet members in public, Kenyatta yet again raises pertinent questions on his leadership style. Is he becoming too angry? Is he threatening too much with little action? The head of state and his delegation return to Nairobi tomorrow. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.